Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this is going to be a quick video, uh, just talking about Ice Wizards a little bit. Uh, you guys may have noticed they've been added to the game. I believe it's just temporary, from what I've heard. So I'm not gonna, you know, worry about making too much, uh, too many videos on this. This is just gonna be a quick one attack, talking about a few different ways to use it while it is here, because it can be effective, and you know, it's included in war. So um, even though it's temporary, it has some implications for the immediate wars you guys are in. So a few quick tips. First of all. Uh, you might be able to use this in mass numbers. I don't know. I haven't seen it used in like anywhere above like six. So that's kind of uncharted territory for me. But I do know it's a very good support troop for a kill squad. And we'll talk about how uh, basically just to kind of go over uh, its logistical aspects real quick. It uh, targets defenses, which is interesting. It's a ranged troop, yet it targets defenses. Um, it's pretty much the same as a wizard besides that. Has a little more hit points, I think, about the same amount of damage, even at level 1. Uh, so it's a very powerful troop. I don't think you can upgrade it, actually. I think you just have level 1 ice wizards. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the attack and talk about how they were used here by Sub-Zero. This actually is a witch attack, which is a cool little combination here. The golems go down, um, just regular wizards to back it up. And one thing I love about the ice wizards, and maybe not in this attack as much, but sort of, is how whenever you drop wizards on the side for the funnel, um, you get great value if they step up and take out defenses. And regular wizards, you know, have to go through the trash buildings. But the ice wizards, if you drop them on the side, they can get really deep funnels for you. Because instead of just taking out that first layer of trash, they step up and immediately take out the defenses. And uh, that does a great job creating the funnel. You can see how well the funnel's done for those bowlers and witches and everything. Um, even inside the base, the funnel's been created. So a very deep funnel. And then he also drops a few in with his kill squad. It's very difficult to see them here. But essentially, um, they're just a great troop to have because they target those defenses which are going to be the most important buildings and they also have that freeze effect so if they get it on like an expo or something that's a great value because they you know they slow down the entire defense and it allows your other troops to kind of sit back do their damage do their thing they're only four troop space so a great investment i would definitely recommend them using them in pretty much every attack every kind of composition that has a uh, golems and a kill squad I mean, maybe in certain attacks where you like just use your heroes and then use a big laloon, there might not be as much of a use. But whenever you're bringing one or more golems, definitely put an ice wizard or two behind. And like I said, one tricky way to use them is for the funneling, drop them on the side. They can get some net, uh, nice deep funneling for you get that second layer taken out especially good for funneling witches like we have here and also bowlers which were in the cc um they're great funnel troops and they're great all-around troops to have in your kill squad sitting back behind those golems so i wish supercell would leave them in the game i think if they were tweaked a little bit they're probably a little too powerful right now but if they were tweaked a little bit they'd be an awesome troop because their ai is so interesting with the range of the wizard but also the uh, defense priority that the uh the hogs the golems the balloons, the giants, all that has. So very interesting troop, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy messing around with them for a little while. Thanks for watching this quick video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sactatron out.